Welcome to my bookbinding studio. My name is Chanel and I just came back from vacation. My partner and I went away to a little cabin in the woods and it was so nice to be out of the city. Very strange to get away, especially after being at home for over a year. We definitely struggled to settle our minds and let go of the city while we were there. I couldn't turn off my work brain. When I was there, I was thinking about, um, oh, maybe this time I could be planning for my future. I could be writing about my business, for my business. I could be creating content and maybe have some nature shots for my social media but like I definitely didn't want to do that and the whole point of getting away was to um, just find some stillness. I was finally able to do that probably in the last couple days of the trip and it was so nice and yeah I definitely had to tell my like work brain to shut up a few times. <laughs> Very recently I've been thinking a lot about rest and actually trying to practice true rest. A good example that I can think of is my relationship to nature um, since I was just in the forest. I went to a high school where there was an outdoor education program and that was my introduction to learning how to camp and um, cook and be outside and I'm so grateful for that experience. Being in nature when I was a teenager was all about getting exercise and um, packing in the days with activities because it was an ed education program, right? So we had a schedule to follow. After high school, I continued to go camping and go out to enjoy nature, um, but I definitely packed a lot in my plans when we, were, when we would go away. I remember for a while just feeling like a camping trip wasn't enough or wasn't um, a complete one without working my butt off, like working, working out my body. Um, hiking up a mountain, seeing a view, coming back down and feeling that reward. It's been really ingrained in me that there is a reward after you put in the work. Um, so I took that mindset to my vacation. Like, you know, I deserve this vacation because I've worked really hard. Um, I deserve this view because I've hiked up the mountain <laughs> and I just I've been able to let that all go and because my partner is so good at just being in the present I have um, been able to do that as well now I feel like when I get away I just want to do nothing like if it's nature stay in one place for at least two to three nights and just have nothing planned. Explore the forest, explore the beaches, um, stare into the tide pools. Just moving a lot slower, I realize is now my pace. And yeah, I'm embracing that now. I actively had to give myself permission to just exists and just be. I have a hard time just existing. Um, I live in the future and I think working towards living in the present is what I need to do. I remember waking up in the cabin and stepping outside and it was so peaceful sunshine through the leaves, birds chirping, the temperature and breeze was just right. There was a duality with it. I felt both 
free and unsettled. I think because we've been so restricted, um, I wasn't used to so much space and expansiveness. I think what was really important to me is to understand that rest actually takes a long time. Like getting to a point of feeling like I am resting and feeling rested takes time because it takes time to turn off that brain, it takes time to be present, and if you're able to do that really quickly, I applaud you and I need you to tell me your secrets because it takes days for me to feel rested. So as someone who has never really known rest or know how to rest, I now understand that rest is really sacred and by that I mean when I can get to a point of rest I want to protect that time. What I want to reiterate for myself is that I, I don't have to work for a reward. I inherently deserve to feel good. I inherently deserve good things. That's been a big lesson for me in this last year. I don't need to work for rest. I don't need to always be working towards something or um, waiting till a certain point in my life to feel happy or successful. I'm really curious to hear how you rest and when you feel rested and are there active things that you do or tell yourself to get to a point of feeling rested? Let me know in the comments. I have a lot of orders to catch up on that came in in the last week. It is a bit overwhelming, but it's going well. I spent all of yesterday gluing and cutting the covers and then Today, I bound a few books um, and packed some paper orders. I'm gonna try to get a first batch out tomorrow and then um, hopefully complete most of the rest by Friday.
Lucy. Do you want a shrimp chip? So as promised two videos ago, all the comments and likes, I will give Lucy a shrimp chip. Are you ready? This one is from Friendly Alpaca. <laughs> Crystal? <laughs> Crystal left two comments, so I'm gonna give you one and two. Those are from Crystal. Okay. The next one is from Kevin. Okay, this one's from Val. And this one is from Creative Child 425. Yay! Okay, let's see how many likes we got. 27 likes. I'm not gonna give you 27 chips but this is representative of 27 people, okay? That's a gift from 27 people. All right, that's all. One more because we love you. Good girl, good girl.